Hi everyone, here's a quick tutorial on my Magic Lantern settings and MLV app processing. So I have my custom modes set in this camera, mostly 1080p. So CM1 for 48 FPS, CM2 40 FPS, CM3 30 FPS, CM4 24 FPS, and CM5 2.5K mode in 24 FPS. But for this tutorial, let's stick to 24 FPS. So bit depth here, I set it off. Off means that it uses 14 bit. And white balance, 5.5K. FPS override is where you can tweak your frame rates. I turn it off because I'm now using the default 24 FPS. Shutter fine tuning is where you can fine tune the shutter speed to get that 180 degree shutter angle. And in customized buttons, I set my gain to ISO. In overlay, I turn on zebras and focus peak, which really helps with focusing in my shots. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Let's set our focus here. See that flickering red lines surrounding the subject? This is the focus peaking in action. Another way to ensure that you have correct focus is by pressing the set button to zoom in. And now if you see these zebras appear in your scene, that means you're overexposed. It's very important for you not to overexpose. I know raw image has flexibility to recover highlights, but it has its limits. So for me, I will always lean towards more shadows. Besides, it looks more natural to us humans to see dark areas. We're not used to seeing things washed into white, but we do see shadows. It's more natural for us to see darkness, especially at night. All right, we're in the MLV app now. Uh, the first thing I do is chroma smoothing at 3x3. Three three. Set cut in and cut out. Uh, check highlight reconstructions. Do a little sharpening at 20. And my lens has a little vignette, so I correct the vignetting here. Then to reduce the chromatic aberration in 1080p, I usually set CA desaturate threshold to 100. Next is exposure. You can balance it while looking at your histogram. This is an example of underexposed image, and this is overexposed. So make sure the exposure is well balanced. You can also fix the white balance using white balance picker and pick neutral surface like white or gray. Or if you don't have white surface like this scene, use the skin tone mode and pick the color of the skin. Yeah, and apart from that, you can do some creative adjustments using HSL. Like if you think the red is too red, you can always tone it down. Or if you want to change the green, you can alter the hues here. And finally, I like to export in Apple ProRes and upscale my resolution to 2.5K. Okay, that's all the tutorial for today. Thank you.